All right, today guys, I'm gonna show you how to fix the second most common error that I get people mention uh, with VirtualBox, and that is the NS error failure. So let me just go ahead and show you what this might look like. Okay, so you just got your virtual machine uh, all configured and you're ready to start it up for the very first time. So we click on start and it's gonna pop up here and ask us to select the ISO file. So you get something that looks like this. Well, what you gotta do is click on this folder and then you click add, but here's the problem. When you click on add, everything kind of just crashes, as you can see. And you get this pop up here uh, with a you know error message. But uh, we see it says failed to open a session for the virtual machine. And when you click details, there's that NS error failure. The session was aborted. So how do you fix this? Well, it's really simple. And I kind of just now figured it out that most of the time I tell people in comments, I don't know how to fix it. I honestly don't even know what this error means, but here's how you fix it. So all you have to do is you have to manually uh, insert the ISO through the settings in, of the VM. So the one you want to start up, make sure it's selected, and you click Settings. Now when you click on Settings, uh, there should be a little storage tab right up here. So just go ahead and go into that. And right here is a virtual disk drive. So it says disk image file. So go ahead and click on this. And this is where you can mount a uh, disk image. So think of it like putting a CD into a CD drive. So once you have this selected right here, just go over here to this CD icon right next to where it says SATA port 1. And just go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see... Uh, you're not going to have any of these options right here, but you're going to see these two right here. It says choose slash create a virtual optical disk or choose a disk file. Well, we want to choose a disk file. And now what this is going to do is bring up the finder window that has been quitting on us. So we can navigate to wherever we stored our ISO file. So here's the one that I want to use. And then we hit open. And now what this has done is it's went ahead and put in the ISO file already. So we don't have to select it when we start the virtual machine by going through Finder. Okay, so we hit OK on this. It's going to save our settings. And it's going to show us that that file is in the drive. So now we can click Start. Now you're still going to get the window to select your file. But the difference is your file is already in the drive. So you don't have to go find a file to put in the drive. What you do is on this drop down menu, you can click on it, and now you see the file that you just put into the drive. So just click on that one, and now we can hit start. And now your virtual machine is going to boot up and load the Windows installer and it just disappeared because I have a secondary display, but here it is right here. I don't know, it glitches sometimes where it puts it on another monitor for some reason, but yeah, so that's how you fix the NS error failure uh, when you're starting up your virtual machine for the first time. I uh, hope this helps everybody, uh, but thank you guys for watching as always. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I really hope this uh, helps somebody out. So I will catch you all in the next video.